morning. It is 7.30 a.m. Usually I get up at 6.30. However, my dog decided to throw up at 3 a.m. So I have to deal with that. Okay, first thing I usually do is I put in eye drops. My eyes are so red right now. I just drop them in and I'll show you in a couple seconds. Like, they'll be bright white. Okay, look how much whiter they are. It's actually insane where to go. It's Lumify eye drops. I have it linked in my Amazon store, so I'll have that in the description. So today I'm going to run a couple errands. I want to get some stainless steel pots and pans. My friend wants to go to the bookstore. And then I have to interview someone today for something very exciting and very special and something I've been working on for like two years now. I'm really excited about it. And then I have a chemical peel. Because as you can see, I'm having some skin issues here. I'm trying to be more open about this stuff, even though know, I know I get really embarrassed about it. But here we are being more open. Like I just have a bunch right here. And I've, this has been going on for like, honestly I've had acne my whole life. But it's like significantly gotten worse since I moved to Nashville because I lost my old esthetician like in LA so I can't find someone here so I'm like been testing different people out um I just started using I hate using prescriptions I think I've talked about this like multiple times like I'm so against it but at this point it's like my skin being so bad is like hurting my self-confidence so much that I'm like okay maybe I do need to do something you know a prescription so I'm on tretinoin 0.05% um, retin-a cream it's definitely making me purge a lot um, which sucks <laughs> but it's okay we have hope I wanted you to know that I not just like easily filming this video about my skin like I probably talked to the camera for like five minutes multiple different times and like looked at myself and I was just like I feel so ugly like I just want to delete this clip and so I want you to know that like I hope by me sharing this and being more open, you know that like nobody's perfect and you know these things are normal and I hope it can help someone, I don't know, help you relate or yeah, not feel alone, I guess. make a cute aesthetic video and make my matcha look cute and when I pour the milk it literally goes into the dry bowl of matcha, maca, and mushroom powder and then it gets super comfy. I'm gonna add some organic cinnamon. Yeah, 
I like to add a lot. Just because I love the flavor of matcha and pairing them together. Okay. Now a taste test. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, I need to show you guys something. Look at corn nut on top of the logs. I think he feels like Lion King all the way up there. <laughs> he likes to sit right there and just stare at me while I'm in the house. Welcome to my meditation room. So this is where I come every single morning and I will do like my morning meditations, manifestation. Um, I also like this is just like my little hangout space. Like I like to come in here and like you know, research my hobbies or stuff like that. I like to keep work out of this room just because since like my work is my personal life, things just get meshed too easily and I feel like I can never get a break. So this is my like no work zone. Like I love it. It's so cute. If you know me, I love my plants. So of course I had to have those everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna start my little morning meditation and drink my matcha, and I'll see you after. wearing these cute Levi's they are kind of like boot cut slash like straight leg they just have a gray top um that's all I'm wearing okay so I am still super tired from not getting much sleep with the dogs so my mom is just not gonna do it for me and I'm gonna have a little Celsius this is the sparkling fantasy vibe one thing I love about Celsius is that it is a healthier energy drink. There is no high fructose corn syrup. There's no artificial um, colors or flavors. And there is no preservatives. Okay, I'm going to wash my face really quick. I normally don't do soap in the morning. Um, just so I feel like it's too much. But corn nut definitely licked my face a good bit this morning. So we're going to have to wash it. Um... So, I have been using these bamboo, um, like, single towels, and basically, like, using a washcloth, like, cloth, washcloth like this holds a lot of bacteria, so I use these, um, so I started buying these Clean Skin Club bamboo towels, and it's just, like, single-use little towels, um, and I use this to dry my face every time, and I feel like that helps keep it more clean throughout the day. Um, I have these linked on my Amazon storefront, so I'll have a link in the description if you want to check them out. I haven't done a vlog like this in a minute, and I need to tell you guys why I stopped. And I actually have seen a lot of other creators, like, kind of feel this way. And... I feel like when you go through like drama online and like your whole life is online and there's millions of impressions on everything you do like at some point you just I feel you don't want to share anything so I feel like after like going through certain drama or just certain things with social media in LA like I really just wanted to be to myself and I really wanted to be a recluse and um I was watching this girl Paige Lorenz's YouTube video and she was talking about how she's limiting like herself by only posting a picture like just a still image like there's so much more to us than just a still image on Instagram or a voiceless TikTok um so after watching her video I like I related and I felt the same way and I was like you know since I had all that trauma in LA, I just stopped sharing everything about my life. And I feel like I lost that connection to you guys. And like now that I've like healed from all that trauma, I feel like I'm like ready to come back on and, and 
show you more of my life and like what's going on and my thoughts and my insights and like all that kind of stuff so let me know how you like this video this is kind of like the first video like coming back with stuff like that i know i did like fitness stuff for a long time where i hardly talked in the beginning um but i kind of want to start like connecting with you guys more and you know just sharing what i'm going through sharing my experience and i hope that you guys can relate or it can help you in whatever sort of way you know what corny you be quiet stop it that's not a cute bark we don't like that just kidding every bark is cute out of him <laughs> anyways um on the subject of being real so basically as a kid i never felt like my needs were met and i was so confused why i had all of these emotions i didn't really know where they came from so growing up like understanding trauma and like going back and diving deep like okay where is this trigger coming from and like why and like what started it and um healing through all of that one thing that i really realized is showing up for myself um and like i was saying like making sure that i am meeting my own needs because i never really felt that as a little girl and I feel like the main thing that is driving me to like learn everything um, just about like from like self-love to even herbalism and natural health and um, all that kind of stuff and like just how to take care of your body is because I want to do your body and your mind. I want to teach my kids how to do that and I want them to like grow up with those skills um, and I feel like if I had that when I was a teenager, I would have understood myself so much more. Um, so show up for yourself. And one thing, I think I've said this on here like a long time ago before. Um, but one thing that I always think to myself when I start to get lazy and I don't want to take care of myself, I don't want to wash my hair. I don't want to do whatever. I start to think like, would I cheat out on my kid? Like, would I, like, say, oh, I'm too tired, I'm not going to give my kid a bath, or, oh, I'm not going to cook my kid any food because I'm too tired. Like, absolutely not. So, in a way, you are your own child. Like, you, I am my own daughter because I have to take care of myself just as if I would my kid. So, I always try and, like, put things into that perspective, and that helps me, like, get up and show up for myself. Hopefully, I explained all that properly because ever since I've had a few like friend heartbreaks where I thought I could trust someone, found out I couldn't, I have like this like closed shock throat chakra thing where when I try and go and say how I feel, the words literally disappear from my brain. It's like I, I can't explain it. Like I I know how I felt, but I can't find the words. Like nothing will come out. And I've been getting really frustrated because it's even with people that I know that I can trust. And I go and try and explain how I feel. And I'm like, where did the words that I was just thinking in my head, like what happened to them? And that literally just goes to show you how much like trauma and how much like experience like that can affect you without you realizing it. Um, like, it, it's just crazy how, like, that's what my body decided to do from, like, that trauma. Is to literally, like, do everything it can to stop me from oversharing. To stop me from getting close with somebody and sharing my honest, like, my truth. And I need to work on that shit because it's getting really frustrating every time I try to talk about what I'm going through to somebody I care about or I can trust. Okay, but like on another note, this is my holy grail lip liner. It is Patrick Ta. Um, she's bold. And it's kind of like this, like, just like a kind of like brown, but also a little bit like, like pinky. And I just like, outline the outer parts of my lips then i leave like the center natural and then i'll just put like some like chapstick on top and i feel like this just gives such a good like natural look like i don't really like the look of lipstick just because i feel like it's like too much for me i don't like the feeling of it too so i've just been doing that 
and I love it. It's kind of cute. Okay, I literally feel like this video is just me giving away all my secrets, but I need to tell you what I've been doing for bras. Okay, so bras cause me to bloat so much. So I've been wearing this um, sticky bra. It, I think it's called new bra. I need to look. I have it on my Amazon storefront actually, but it doesn't like wrap around your rib cage, so it doesn't like it's not too tight that which will cause like bloating and inflammation is really bad for you it literally just sticks to your boobs and holds them together and up and like you know together so it's like saved my life because i hate wearing bras but this is so comfortable and they look good so i'm gonna show you a little ootd before i go um so a fun fact in high school i got made fun of for liking country music and for like liking that lifestyle and ever since then, I, like, dimmed that part of myself, um, like, unintentionally. I just automatically did. So one thing I've been trying to do is to bring that, like, side, that side of myself back, you know? Like, I live in Nashville. Now's the perfect time. And this is my first outfit to, like, bring it back. Cute. I have this cute little, like, vintage red belt that I bought from Etsy. It has these cute little like pendants on it, but I just have my Levi's on, jean jacket, and a gray shirt, and these are like boot cut Levi's or like straight leg, and got my plain Converse, and these Converse, I'll show you. I actually drew the cow print on them. Just got in the car, I'm here with me and Michael's friend, Silas. No. We are about to go to Barnes & Noble and William Sonoma. Si, what book did you get? It's a Court of Wings and Ruins. Ooh. It is the biggest book I will have ever read. How many pages again? 700 pages. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a minute. <laughs> it's gonna take a second. We are at the kitchen store. I gotta get some pots. And then a little like matcha powder breaker upper thing <laughs> brush. A powder breaker upper. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Uh, the whisk? <laughs> Kinda. Yeah, it's like that little, like the thing you put on your head but smaller. You know, the like little. Yes, yes, yeah. with a bunch of bristles. Yeah, yeah. That one. <laughs> it is the next morning. I didn't vlog yesterday after my chemical peel. I was just having a really hard time about my skin again. And. I really just feel like there is like a big life lesson that I meant to learn and I think it's to find my value in other places than how I look and I feel like with social media we've been conditioned that if you're beautiful if you have this kind of body if whatever it is um, appearance wise that that means that you're a value and I feel like we don't glorify enough online the other things that you know show your value and that you are a value um so i feel like this season of my life or like this year is remembering that i have value outside of my looks so that's like the journey that i feel like i'm on right now and i just wanted to share that because i'm sure somewhere out there there's someone else feeling the same way and you're not alone going through it together and yeah be strong skin stuff is only temporary and there are so many other things not that are not physical about you that have value so we're learning that oh also before i go if you guys want to check out celsius i will leave a link in the description box below their new flavors are so good anyways thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye